Later this week, we will likely know the fate of UT Austin President Bill Powers. The embattled Powers says he's willing to make a graceful exit following the 2015 legislative session. Chancellor Francisco Cigueroa last week told Powers to resign or risk being fired by the Board of Regents on Thursday. Some politicians became at odds when Powers, with Powers when he refused to implement a series of reforms that make the university more like a business. Others, like Texas X's and some lawmakers, support Powers. This afternoon, I asked Texas Tribune's higher education reporter, Reeve Hamilton, what led to this political showdown. What are the political dynamics going on here? Well, the UT Austin administration and the UT System Board of Regents have basically been at loggerheads for three years now. And that tension has been boiling up and boiling up. And a lot of this is viewed through a sort of lens having to do with Governor Rick Perry, since he appoints all the board regent, all the Governor Rick Perry appoints all the board members, and he wants powers out is the thought. So there's a feeling that he's really driving this, and if he gets powers out now, he has more of a chance to control the process of choosing his replacement. That's one theory of people reading some of the political tea leaves. And taking a closer look, President Powers has had several big accomplishments in his tenure in UT Austin since 2006. The Campaign for Texas, which Powers championed, has raised $2.92 billion. That is just shy of the overall goal of $3 billion. That money could help fund research projects in schools. That includes the Dell Medical School in Austin. Powers, along with a host of other officials, pushed for the medical school in central Austin. And in the last few years, he led UT's defense of its its diversity system. Part of that is the 10% rule and the use of race among admission factors. The U.S. Supreme Court kicked the Fisher versus UT Austin case back to the lower courts. The court said affirmative action programs need to be strictly reviewed, but it did not outlaw the programs. As with most political matters, lawmakers have gotten involved. The Texas House Committee on Transparency and State Agency Operations is in the middle of investigating UT Regent Wallace Hall. The committee agreed grounds for impeachment exist for Hall. A report this past spring said Hall likely broke the law as he requested massive amounts of records and information in an investigation into UT administration. In a letter Sunday to the Regents, Representatives Carol Alvarado and Dan Flynn repeated their request that no adverse employment be taken against witnesses. President Powers and several other UT officials testified in the investigation against Hall. The House Committee doesn't have a scheduled meeting yet to consider articles of impeachment against Hall.